This video is to show how to connect this linear actuator with the, the threaded rod kind, which is a, a much slower moving uh, a linear actuator, but it provides a lot more strength. So the first thing I think you're going to need to have a metric five rod. Um, this particular one is, I think, uh, let's see, looks to be about 15 or 16 uh, centimeters. Um, okay, so, uh, well, certainly one thing you can do is put the rod in. So you have these four printed parts, the, the gear coupling, uh, the linear actuator case, and the linear, linear actuator rod, and the motor face. So, um, I guess the first thing we can do is put the nut, this is a metric five nut, Oh, I'm sorry, this is a metric eight, metric eight uh, threaded rod. And so a metric eight nut. So you're gonna put this metric eight, this is a jam nut, a thinner nut than probably a, a regular one. Um, you're gonna put this one into the slot and just push it in there, maybe with some needle nose pliers so it's aligned there. Now you're gonna wanna put this threaded rod, you may wanna apply a little bit of grease onto it. Uh, through that the hole and th into that threaded nut and you kind of want to squeeze it so it's straight here and one cool thing that you can speed this along I think after you get it going a little bit um, is you can put connect this to a drill and this makes it a lot faster and then hold the, the rod and put that in there like that. Okay, so now let's attach the motor facing to the motor. So you want to align up the holes of the shaft. And I think usually just two, um, two screws are enough to really hold this together. Uh, you can use either a metric 8, metric 3 length 8, or metric 3 length 10. will both work, I think, for this particular motor. This is a motor you can get on AliExpress for about 7 or $8, probably. All right, so just screw those in. Screw them in pretty tightly. You want to make sure they're going in easily. You don't want to accidentally cut different threads into the motor. It's aluminum. It's kind of soft. So that's kind of an important point. Make it nice and tight. Okay, so now let's put the uh, coupling, motor coupling into the plastic. This particular plastic coupling accommodates a metric six, which is the uh, gear motor for the to a metric eight, six to eight. Um, I just happen to have a flexible coupling, and so that's what this one's for. And it's a set screw coupling. It has a metric four threaded holes there. Um, you can also use a clamping coupling, but you would need to redesign this uh, to accommodate that. This one works fine, though. So let's put this in. Make sure that the six is uh, up against the the edge, that the holes align. Um, I'm using metric four. These look to be 12 millimeter in length, uh, countersunk, or counterstunk, as you might say, countersunk screws. So let's put in, um, you want both sides on there. And it doesn't hurt to put one more in there in the back. And I would just put them in uh, just a little ways. And so let's put them on the motor and tighten it up. And you want to leave a little space between the motor and the this. So you're gonna have to tighten these, tighten them, but good, <laughs> tighten them pretty well. 
um, because they can slip. I prefer the clamping coupling myself uh, for a lot of these couplings. The clamping coupling is a very strong coupling that, as long as it's on tightly enough, will not really slip. Okay, so now let's put the... Uh, so now the rod goes through the into the housing and out to other end. <laughs> um, then you want to connect this into the the eight millimeter part of the coupling. Oh, you know what? I got my set screw in there too tightly, so let's loosen that one. Yeah, in fact, you'll definitely need at least one set screw on this side for the the threaded rod. Okay, there it goes in there. Now let's tighten that set screw. And you may want to put another one in there. It certainly will do no harm. All right, so now close this casing down to the motor plate. And then the motor plate will attach to the linear actuator casing with two metric 312, I think, uh, machine screws. These are countersunk. It's okay to thread it through the plastic so that it cuts threads in the plastic. Doesn't matter because this is not an embedded nut. Then put on your. You can use either a regular metric three nut or a metric three lock nut. Is also good. And just tighten that on. I'm going to hold it with some a needle nose here. Other side. Or I guess the top. Yeah, and then a nut on this one. And then how this will attach to some object is with two metric three screws uh, right there. Um, so there you have it, basically. Um, and at this point, you can always just connect battery leads to the motor if you need to. Or you can just connect them to this wire. Solder on a wire and connect your battery leads here. And uh, move this linear actuator back and forth.